shielded Montaigne. He spots Slash right behind the minibar, who's going rotating around towards the motorcycle hallway. A lot of pressure coming in here, and the plant's actually coming down already. Plant's coming down. Corey's going to fake it out as we have the re revolver kill right onto Slash. Splinter getting the first kill of the game. And now there's 60 seconds left to go. Corey's still stuck in motorcycle. There is that smoke grenade. That's going to push them here even further in. And with a shotgun here from, I believe that was Eclipse. Yes, Eclipse is going to get that kill right onto Corey as Avian strafes across and gets a headshot down onto Quantic. You've got a three on three at the moment. 40 seconds left to go. And Buck's DMR is just annihilating K9 there. We've got Ysera here at the bottom of the central stairs. Looks as though we're going to have multiple people down. And it's going to be Quantic, Ysera, and Revic both getting all the kills there. She was waiting for the time that Fuse is going to place one of these chargers. And we see it being placed right down now in main hallway. Most likely to get rid of some of the barbed wire. He's going to place one more down here right inside of the kitchen. That's going to be right up, kind of close to the doorway inside the kitchen. You see Avian's got very specific spots. They do not look excellent, but that... Ooh, Ysera he? comes on up into the kitchen hallway, downs and finishes off Avian, but he will be traded off by K9. Revek was able to pick up a kill into Eclipse now, turning it into a right four on three. hear the footsteps inside the kitchen. Snake's going to drop. He's going to spot Rev. And it looks as though the gas grenade's going to force him on over towards Locker. Comes in for the pinch, and Lunar's going to get it from behind. Last one alive is going to be K9 inside of the kitchen. He's going to drop, looks down towards Locker's. Lunar's going to be inside of construction. They know they have a crossfire. They have an enormous pinch on him. Echo Drone's going to disorient him. And now it's going to be time for a push in here. Rev just needs to pop his head up from the crouch position. Quantic's going to be pushing in from Church. And there's going to be Lunar pushing on in, making it 2-0. Envy. That was a really good use of Echo there, just stalling him out, keeping him in a bad place, and then pitching them from yeah, both sides. Snake sneaking around over here. Yeah, so Snake has managed to come on up. Looks like they forgot to get that Claymore down. Looking at the puck, or at the ladder. He's going to peek around and gets the kill into Quantic. First kill with the round here. Close above, able to get Lunar, but doesn't finish him off. Throws one in, or impact grenade, which doesn't do the trick just yet. That's really going to hurt their attack here. Picking up a second kill. That is also the bug that's been killed off. The scabs to cover him and make sure that he doesn't get killed doing it. So. Ooh, oh, a very nice shot by Ysera. As Slash comes around from the white van, that's taken out a monstrous kill there on the right Three to two, and they've got some good angles, but that's Ooh, that, a very good go. peek here from Quantic, able to get Avian down. Now it's all to K9 and Snake. Last two alive, however, Snake falls to Lunar. K9's gonna drop on in, and this there's gonna be familiar. the echo This is a repeat of round number two. Now K9 has not to play in, but he is disoriented and will be finished off by Lunar. Now that's from above, inside of the stock drop. Looks like Lunar pushes on in. K9, he knows is inside. Corey's trying to make his way in, but K9 gets the drop shot onto Corey. And now he's going to push in. Looks like K9 to go in one on one here against Lunar. Last time, previous two times, these two teams or these two players have engaged. And it's going to be a third time. There goes the kill onto K9. Lunar and Rev each get one. It's now up to Slash and Avian. A two on four, 30 seconds left to go. Avian's inside of the church as we have Rev coming down the main central stairwell. Diffuser's getting planted by, by Quantic. And Avian. And Quantic, though, gets Avian on the trade. Slash gets Lunar. Now, Dif Diffuser's still in the hands of Quantic. 15 seconds. It's getting planted now. He's going to pull out that yokai. Won't spot him in time, though. So it looks as though he's going to get right behind that B-bomb and go in for the plant. Now Slash trying to stay hidden. There goes the kill there onto Revic. Now a one-on-one. -on -one. Diffuser has been planted now. It is here onto Envy, going up against Slash. Slash is very much hurt. He's down to about 20 health, reloading his weapons to make sure. But the Supernova at this close range can prove to be very deadly. There it's gonna be. And now he's gonna have to rush on in. He's got about 10 seconds to spot where Quantic is gonna finally be. He peeks on up, but Quantic disoriented, gets the headshot onto Slash. Turning it into a, a very win aggressive here. move, considering they've got 50 seconds remaining. There's no one's really going to be expecting it, but if Quantic peaks to the right oh, side, oh, there it is. Slash gets that kill on the Quantic, moves on over, gets the second kill on the Corey. We might be going into overtime here because it's four to two, four to one with K9 picking up the kill on the Rev. You've got 35 yeah, seconds left to go. The future gets planted. Ysera, full health as he may be. It's going to have to come down these central stairs, which is right. Fight four. Good luck with the diffuser planted. One on four. It's not looking great, but if Ysera could get one kill, that'll feel good. There it is. He got one looking to the left, but he's going to get sideswiped from the right here. Snake knows it's there. He's right by the jukebox. He's right by the slot machine. And there it is. Ysera will fall to Snake. See what's going on in his way. 60 seconds left to go in the way. Avian now. Looks like diffuser... Baiting it out here from K9. You still have Eclipse who's above, trying to look on down through. Avian looks as though he's going to be inside of the main floor as well. Quantic over the push. His kneecap was seen, but K9 is still trying to bait him out. And they finally gets the bait as Avian also gets a kill. A three on one now from Lunar. Lunar tries to move on in from Church, and Avian able to pick up another kill down onto him. He has the ability to detect when Fuse is there and make that push up on him, which it looks like he's doing right now. There it is. A very nice shot by Ysera. 
That's gonna be the Yokai drone leading the way. He gets another one right onto K9. And again, he finally gets taken out. But I tell you what, getting rid of the the fuse and the buck. He's gonna go for the plant as Snake moves in behind him and tries to go for the cover. But he will be taken out. Quantic and Lunar able to get Snake and Eclipse. Eclipse however, was able to get Corey down. It's a one on two. Diffuser has been planted. Lunar's gonna use that Yokai. He pops on up. Can he get the shot on the slash? Looks like it might have been a headshot, although it might have just been the collarbone because Slash was right on to him. Here comes Quantic. But now you got a double push around. Slash does oh. get taken out, and it's going to be Envy taking map number one. As long as we're going to see where he's coming from. Avian trying to come around for the flank. Spot Quantic gets the kill. Gets another one there and drops Montaigne from behind. He's looking for Corey. He gets the third kill. Now he's going for the last one here under Ysera. Ysera is going to be taken out by K9, and there is going to be Air. Like Big Car Garage is going to get opened up here from Ysera. Now, that's going to force Eclipse to migrate on over here, but oh. Ysera gets a wall bang miraculously as it explodes. They've got to get this plant down, though. Ten seconds left. Ten They're going to plant it in that kitchen. Now, this is a perfect angle Corey's got. It's just a matter of are they going to push inside, or are they going to go for the plant? And it looks like the Slash timing. is going to go for the plant down. As it he gets down in time, Avian trying to come around for the flank. Corey rushing on in. He goes for the shots, but he doesn't get it. The attackers are going to win, and it's going to be Arrow. Throwing it up first before they make a move in. Lunar's going to go in, but the C4, I believe, from underneath is going to finish him off. A very nice job in game awareness by Avian. He's going <laughs> to pop out the window, gets one, nice. number two, a triple kill before he gets killed off. Turning it into a 2-2 right now. Going up against a Montane here. Now Eclipse is on the top of the stairs. I don't quite think he realizes, or I don't think uh, we have Quantic knows that he's there. Sees him, goes for the shots, lands him, but the drop shot shotgun will take down Ash in the head. And there it is, a four on three now, 35 seconds left to go. Eclipse is going to push out here momentarily to look for Corey. Goes for the shots and gets it. That's the fuser falling. And now last one alive is going to be Lunar. He's inside of Vontite, but he's got to drop the shield, and Eclipse is already there. The ability to, like, breach from that far away now, although he's still have to Ooh, a double fuse charge. And this yeah. is, well, like I said, he had something to say about it. Yeah, Snake gets his Sarah and Lunar medal. 20 seconds left. Not looking good at all for Envy 2v4. The four on two. Lunar and Quantic, the last one's alive. Quantic trying to come in from behind. Looks like he's going to see Eclipse. He will down him, try to push on in. Lunar also gets a kill of his own here. A two on two. He has to push in and get this diffuser planted. But Quantic goes down, and you're going to see Slash moving in. And as we have the time going down and down to down, one second left. Lunar doesn't get it. And Era is going to be moving into the semifinals of the sixth invitational. Well done. You know. Regardless of Envy not moving forward, Ball. Snookum picks it up, switches to his pistol, just as the push is going to come around, Gohan gets him on the return. And secretly we'll have to trade it back. Cameraman's picked one off elsewhere and it's down to a 2v2. So this is a good recovery from Euronix. Cameraman, they're both pushing it through the same corridor. Hibana goes low. Stays high on Thatcher and it's a straight trade back. Secretly hiding now in the freezer. The plant's going down behind A. He's going to go out for a peek. He's going to leave him to hold it. The fuser goes down and it's an easy kill for Secretly. As soon as Silence stands back up. And Euronics come back from what looked like a terrible start. Going to go down. Panarin's watching the hole in the wall. They're going to come from the door. Gohan's shotgun won't touch him at that range. And they do get the plant complete. Gohan comes in though. Gets the down as cameraman finishes off renewals. Gohan's thinking about it. Pushing forward. Secretly. Let's jump back outside now. Nice peek around for Shutex to take Gohan out. Panari could be revived, but Cameraman is alone with not a lot of health left. Secretly finished off. Cameraman comes around the doorway. The red didn't know where Shutex was, and it's an easy peek for him. That was a good clutch by Shutex. Not they didn't them. waste any time getting into the building initially, but now they're taking nice and slow clear with their drones, not wanting to get picked off by any of the roamers on Euronix. And historically, they had have had players in that lower floor. Shutex, though, with a good pick on to Gohan to start off the round. Now that's Ash, and some would say some, the best player on Dexterity already out. Shutex picked off by Astro as he comes up that red staircase. Shutex is, Ooh. oh, very nice shot on secretly as he tries to trade it. Gets the headshots through the kill holders he made himself. And Shutex's mobility is nonstop moving. Come back to bite him himself there is they have all the knowledge. Astro and Dexterity have all the knowledge going into it because they're droning it around it. Shutex is running a bit blind. Astro comes up the red second. Gets himself a third this round. Still alive. 20 seconds on the clock as Astro steps into the smoke a little bit too much. But the diffuser is still outside. All they have to do for here in Euronics is keep it out there. Cameraman going to push on in aggressively. Takes the firefight up. Panari will drop him down. The plant's coming through. Astro's holding firm. Does take Snooker down as soon as he peeks. Astro, that's a fourth so far this game. Panari comes in and Astro takes the ace to lock out the round for Dexterity.
A fantastic round from Astro. We thought it was going to go. Burning her way in through the top floor. Does get taken out by a great drop shot from Secretly in Freezer, bringing it back to a 3v3. Silence is coming from the same angle, and he's the man with the diffuser. Grenades going off underneath, and cameraman's inside piano, so they're going to push from this west side forward. Panico coming up the white staircase, does get that flank on, but will fall to Doc. Panari actually helps him out, and then picks into the blue corridor to take out Cameraman. It's all on silence now, and with 18 seconds to go, he gives his position away by a little bit of accidental pre-fire. And just like before, Euronix hold in that 3v4, leveling out the scoreline. So yes, Euronix is taking one bullet to the leg. Screech on out, does no, oh, Westro, very nice shot as he dances across very the window of the flank. The shot comes across oh, from the A site, Silence takes down secretly, seconds, then gets yeah. a second on Panari. The bomb's gonna come up and over and try and land on Gohan's head, but Dexterity kick off overtime with the first win. And unfortunately, ESG unable to put enough pressure onto that piano room to actually take it in time. They eventually did, but they lost too many players on, on the so team. So it is trading back one to one with 30 seconds to go here. Euronix are slowing it very, very far now. Gohan peeks around, <laughs> tucked in the corner of Christmas. Gohan gets down onto Panari, takes some shots at the renewals, who does realize the flank's gonna come in from Panico, but can't pick it up. Dexterity are holding true, and Sutex will fall inside the train room to Astro. Blackbeard's already down, so it's all on Snooker. He's the last man standing, and he's got to kill three players. Can't do it at all. Map number one goes to Dexterity. A fantastic defense from Dexterity, and exactly what I wanted to see from them. Okay, so taking him out. Gohan now at the far side of the bar. Oh, Whoa, what a shot, Renault! Sight is actually pretty much it's been in entirely dexterity pitch. control here. Whoa! <gasps> Astro hip fires Shutex down. Down the yellow stairs is Secretly, who actually comes up straight into cameraman. It's a good kill. This is looking better for dexterity. Three members up for Euronix. Now it's only two as Panico takes down Snook and Panari takes out Cameraman Renewals on the window as Panico trying to jump out at him. There's a good push forward from Astro and with only one man left alive he's going to try and hold the defuse. Flicks off in time. Astro takes out a beautiful kill on Panari has and has the time to go for the defuse. It's a seven second in competitive play. No, oh, he doesn't have time. Milliseconds away. Back to a 3v3. The smoke charge is from Smoke himself now is only one remaining and 40 seconds to go. So they can have a window now where he will not be able to lock them out. Cameraman, while his position is known, is ready to start to be a nuisance. He's ready to start to peak. Panico gets one outside. Renewals will answer to trade back, though. 2v2. Cameraman comes in. Snooken can't kill him, but he can't trade it back himself. Silence is inside with the diffuser, and it's dropped now. Does down Snooken, but Renewals will flank onto Cameraman. Silence is taken out by back. Panari peeking up through the metal detector before he comes back down. Does find Astro, but Astro gets the damage out in time, and Panari will fall. Two members of ESG left alive. It's Thermite and a Blackbeard. They're out on the balcony. The wall is open. Snooken gets the kill onto Gohan as they're pushing on in. Snooken very low health firing in towards Astro. Cameraman peeks around from the inside the B side and takes him out. Blackbeard, the last man standing, gets a good headshot. Astro now over by the metal detectors is being pushed. Slow ADS time means this is going to have to count. Renewals will get the kill, but Panico flanks around all the attackers. But Shutex drops through the hatch. Waiting room is under control of Panari, and Dexterity have been pushed off of their own bomb site. Upstairs, Panico is above them. Great C4 from Cameraman, stops the plant and takes out two. Panari's in waiting, and Cameraman gets him as well. Secretly will take out Panico. Shutex is there for Camera's fourth. He's looking for one more, and Secretly is upstairs. He's above the hatch. He'll drop through into silence his sights. Dexterity hold! in between the locker location. Last man there went metal detectors, but Renewal stashes past him. He's on the diffuser now. He may have time here. Cameraman's got to get through barbed wire, and it's only a seven second diffuse time. He's going to hold it. Renewal's has just straight done it. He pulls off for the last second and goes for the shoot. He doesn't have a lot of time. The C4's not going to kill. He doesn't have time to hold this anymore. Wow. <laughs> Unfortunately, Renewal's decided to get only to the A wall, but I think, you know, it's sensible. It makes sense. Um, oh, I just probably wouldn't have used Blackbird for it. Yeah, so they throw Panari in there head first. He takes out Astro and will flick up for the next one, but Gohan's there with that shotgun. Shuts him down before he gets finished off by the impact nade. Shutek tries to sprint across the lockers and Silence picks up her second one. Secretly is now in and Gohan's shotgun all there to clean it up. Snooker will trade him back and then does get deep in towards the lockers room. But Panico is coming up the metal detectors. Great flick from Snooker to take him out. Silence inside that small office area now has a cameraman in support and they both have to find this one player. They know roughly where he is. He's going to reveal himself to the side. Silence picks up his third for the round and puts Dexterity on map and series point to the main corridor. He heard the door open. He heard the barbed wire. The car camera east stairs was just shot. And he's go, just Panico. patiently waiting in go, case they're Panico. coming his way. Comes around the corner now, finds Snooker. Great kill. That's Diffuser down. 29 seconds to go. Shutex has to kill three and get the Diffuser. Heads on up. He's cautious of where Panico may be, but he's fallen back to the office. Does get the Diffuser. Dodges the last few bullets. Drops onto Silence, and there it is. 
Santos Dexterity advanced to the semi-finals and said, you're on it, home. Oh. A great last round by Santos Dexterity. They